What's up, YouTube? Dastilier here, coach of the Montreal Canadiens. He's back with PTL Division 1, Season 3, Week 5 now, against Ethan, aka Redithan, coach of the Nashville Predators. Um, this is a, this guy's a veteran. This guy was uh, in some high-profile leagues like the NPA, and uh, is now chilling with us in the PTL. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, I think he's a friend of Astor's, and that's all I really know. So. Excited to face Ethan. He's got a scary team, as you can see on the right side of your screen. And if you don't know what mons I have, that will be on the left side of your screen. That said, let's go over the team we're bringing. We've got a Max Fizdef Reuniclus because Gallade is a massive threat. I just used it in CPL. It's so hard to switch into, but this thing, it can do it if I'm invested the way I am. Uh, I would have loved to be a combine set, but Ethan does have that uh, Alolan Muck, which is the best like bulky psychic check in the game. The only way I can beat it is if I trick it a flame orb, uh, and then I don't get pursuit trapped essentially, and I can live to repeatedly switch into the Glade. And that's about that. Even even still, if it doesn't, uh, if it starts cursing up too much, then yeah. I, I can't even beat it. I have to use another mod to do that. Shadow Ball is to hit the Glade and to not let Layla come in for free. Uh, and Focus Blast is just to hit that muck, so we don't even have Psychic Stab this week. Next is Ferrothorn, Jarball Knockoff, Protecting Leech Seed, Max Spadef. This is my Lele switch in, my Shaman switch in, but I'll be scouting around for that. My Raikou switch in. He just has so many threatening special attackers that Ferrothorn's typing is really great to check, so that's really all we're doing there. Uh, Jarbel, Oko's Lele, knockoff cripples things like Skarmory, and protecting Leech Seed are really just A, to scout for hidden powers, because those are going to be super dangerous, I really have to look out for those. And um, also, with between Leftovers and Leech Seed, I can recover back a lot of HP and repeatedly switch into threats. This Ferrothorn is a wall not so much like a utility type of mon as often you see it like with hazards and whatnot. That's not the point this week. We've got a physically offensive Diancie once again. Uh, Diamond Storm is super spammable. His only resist is Gallade or something, which Moonblast Oko's anyway. And we also have Protect to get a safe Mega Evolution off, as well as Rock Polish to potentially clean late game. This is my main win con this week. We have 6 seconds, the physically defensive Suicune. I have to be this spread basically in order to run Air Slash, which lets me hit the Shaman and the Araquanid, which are the only things that resist Scald. Um, I also have Toxic Protect because I don't want to be letting in the Lele for free again. And um, yeah, I'm bringing Suicune mostly because I need a check to the Araquanid. I can't have uh, Ferrothorn do it because I need to be maxed with F, I need to be switching into those threatening special attackers multiple times during the game. So I wanted to keep that, I wanted to have a separate check to Araquanid. Next, uh, our choice card for this week is going to be Blaze again. I wanted to run, I wanted to use Zapdos because, um, it's an, it's a defogger that's off the ground, but I don't feel like it had a good enough matchup offensively. So we went with Blaze again, threatens out, uh, a lot of his mons and has very spammable stab moves this week. Good momentum in Baton Pass, it can defog. Um, only downside is that it is off the ground, and it, sorry, it is on the ground, and it's affected by sticky webs. Uh, that's basically it for Blaziken. I don't have a nickname for this, so please comment with some good Blaziken nicknames um, down below if you would. And finally, my bread and butter essentially is this uh, Swords Dance Stealth Rock Earthquake. Rocky MZ, Garchomp. I use it in OU all the time. I use it down here. In, down here. I use it in Draft League all the time. It's just such a good set. It just breaks everything. You can't switch into it. It gets up rocks so easily because it forces so many switches. And even if you do switch into it, like you're going to die. So Garchomp, phenomenal mon, largely because of this set right here. And that's it. We're going to go ahead and accept our challenge from Ethan. I'll see you guys in the battle. What's up you guys, here we are back with the game. As we can see, he doesn't have the Mega Gallade, that's pretty crazy, nor the Tapu Lele. 
those were the two biggest offensive threats, in my opinion. So we're really just going to be using this uh, Reuniclus to lure uh, the muck, to burn it. Um, and Ferrothorn is going to still do his job of switching into Shaman Raikou. I do think the Raikou is going to be his main wing con, if not the Arachnid. The Arachnid is probably just a breaker. Shaman could be Scarf. Golurk, I have no idea what that wants to do. Maybe it's just a Zapdos check. Maybe it's a switch into Dancy. But he does have the Skarmory, which I think that's a better switch into Dancy. Uh, I'm going to lead Dancy just to get off my Mega Evolution and prevent webs. However, the issue with this is that he can probably be Sash and uh, he can probably be Sash, so I'm not going to stay in. I'm just going to just take this liquidation, find out how much it's dealing. Oh, Rackwinid. It's called Are You Trapper, sure. Versus my Suicune, which is max defense now. Yep. 20 to 23. That, felt, that feels like high. Uh, I did 12. So yeah, this is like not even splash play. Uh, still, not even, not even adamant? Question mark. Not even attack invested. That's a low roll if you're non adamant, and if you're just like hardy nature, let's say, that's a mid roll. So I'm gonna say no attack investment. Uh, the next one's kind of gonna hurt, but I think it's definitely worth uh, getting a toxic off on this thing. We miss, unfortunately. As he just goes for another liquidation that does 17, and we get a defense drop yet again, which is super annoying. Um, what I'll end up what I think I will do, I know I said I wouldn't do this, but considering he's really not that offensive, I'm gonna go Ferrothorn and uh, just throw off a Leech Seed. As now he decides to go for the Sticky Web, whatever. And that was pretty unfortunate. He turns me into a Water type so he can Toxic me. Fair enough. Um, in order to prevent this, there's nothing really I can do. I guess I can go into my Reuniclus if I'm expecting a Toxic. Or hard Diancy, but that's really not any type of play. Um, I mean, it's pretty obvious what this even do. So, sure. Uh, okay, here goes Shaman. As I reveal my Flame Orb, let's see. I guess I just go. Where I pick into Ferrothorn potentially. Oh, you know what? What I'd love to do here is get in Blaziken and in Defog. Which I think I'll just do. If he has the. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna say if he has the. Uh, what is it? Earth Power. Yeah, he didn't go for it there. So he just switched in um, his muck on my Reuniclus. Yeah, I don't think he's expecting a trick. Anyway, I can get a defog off here. As the spider just comes back in. I'm locked in now. He could try to get up his webs again. Um, but like, anyway. I'm gonna finally try to toxic this thing. Can I please not get a defense drop and please land? So he's not going for webs. I don't get a finished off, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, he doesn't want to risk those getting bounced back. So I'm going to try to go for a Toxic here. Finally, we land that as we get Toxic as well. But uh, do we have? We don't have. We don't have a cleric on this team. I kind of thought about it. Anyway, I'm never. I never risk my Dancy, right? But now I'm pretty sure. Because you're toxic that I'm faster, I can beat this thing down with Air Slash. I'm doing quite a bit. Uh, and provided he doesn't get any, any Spadef drops, and actually because he has the lowered evasion, I will land every Air Slash. Which is pretty cool. This weekend's getting low though. 
but it really it, it essentially did its job let's just go ferrothorn here knock off this raikou or something pretty standard i was expecting to calm mind i want to know uh, if um if jarball's doing more than knockoff i wonder Ferrothorn, Thorn Hat versus Raikou. Uh, yeah, yeah Gyreball is actually breaking its sub. And it does have leftovers. Then again, Knockoff is also breaking the sub. So I'll just go for that. We get T bolted, does nothing. We break, the, we do that. He doesn't actually lose his item, I, okay. But anyway, uh, let's do it now. Something loses its item here. Doesn't look like he has any kind of coverage for me. Shaman comes out, great. This thing's item is gone, and it was leftovers. Cool. So you can throw off a hidden power fire right here. You can throw off an earth power to try to catch my potential switch in. Oh, blaze again. But I think I'll just protect to scout. Why not? He does go for the hidden power. I'm expecting hidden power fire. My Ferrothorn's back up at full HP right now. Uh, what do I do about this? I guess I get in Blaze again. I get Leech Seated. Uh, I could expect to protect here. He doesn't really have a fire resistor besides the Araquanid, which is getting pretty low. So I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah, this thing's very nearly dead. In fact, uh, unless you have Protect, how much did that do? 26? He's at- ooh, give me a roll. I don't want you getting webs up. As soon as this Arachne dies, this play skin becomes much less valuable. No! No! Okay, you know what, that's fine. He didn't go for webs. Yeah, I'm totally fine with losing my blaze again. It was really only here to be up. Uh, also potentially prevent the Shaman, I guess, but I kind of have other ways to do that. If I weaken it, Diancy can revenge it, Garchomp can revenge it with a Zemo. Uh, speaking of that... Do I go Garchomp now and try to get my rocks up? I feel like that's probably a good idea. Alternatively... My Suicune's are also kind of useless now. I can toxic things. Let's go Garchomp. And... You go Skarmory. Alright. I think I get rocks here. And then I can just source that and stuff on this. Uh, my Defogger's gone, so maybe I shouldn't let this thing hazard stack me, actually. But, again, I don't want to go Diancy on it, because it could have the Iron Head. I'm sure it will. Uh, I'll just sort of stands up, and I get whirlwinded, it's alright. Uh, let's try to heal up my speaker, actually. As he goes muck, I should just go for it soon. As in, I should just try to burn this muck. My speaker's max defense. So, alright. Yeah, I wasn't worried that I wasn't going to leave anything like that. It's not going to stick around for much longer, though. Shaman's slowly getting weakened. I knocked off its leftover, so every rock switching is good for me. Man. Yeah, I kind of have to burn the muck soon, because I'm running out of switch-ins to it. Protecting doesn't do anything for me. I'll just go Ferrothorn. If I get Hidden Power Fired, I live at least one. Sea Flare, don't do the dirtiness. Alright, you didn't. Uh, I should live one because I know that he's no item. Uh, is he C move? One second. Double checking his team on the draft tab 
Shaman's not as a user. So, yeah, because I knocked off his item already, let me just confirm that Leftovers was knocked off. I don't think you're gonna kill, then again, I don't think knock off is gonna do all that much either. So maybe I should just try to go Garchomp, but I can't really kill in one hit anyway. Let me see if you're in range of Diancie. If your max is that, uh, you're probably not. This is offensive. Uh, let's just calculate max HP. How about that? All right. First of all, hidden power fire to my favorite zone. He's doing like only 66 max. I don't want to lose all that health though. Yancy. I'm not really putting myself ahead in this game. I should start, I should like figure out how to do that. Diamond Stone to max HP does like 48. Min to 57. And that's not even if he has like face death investment. So I really need this thing weakened. How do I want to do that? Uh, do I use Reuniclus? That sounds super unreliable. I could alternatively go Garchomp and just click my Z-move. Let's see if that's gonna work. Raw Z move is doing again 49 to 58, so about half, same as Diancy. Uh, should I just hope he doesn't have an attack to hit me? What about two stone edges? 27 times 2 is not enough. Even two, I need two max rolls to kill the Shaman with Stone Edge, which is super low odds happening. But I really don't want to take the damage on Ferrothorn because it's such a good check to Raikou. So, I guess... It's Calc versus Reuniclus. There's so many things I need to happen in order to win this game. I don't, I don't, know, how to, I don't know how to make any of them happen. I just need to weaken this, I need to weaken this. Like, Diancy is just... He brought all the checks to Diancy. See, Flare is doing over half to Reuniclus that I'm not switching it in. Oh, wait, this is Life Orb I've been calculating. Hold on. Still has a good chance, like a 28% chance to do over half. Alright, let's go, Garchomp. Okay, I take the Hidden Power Fire. If he has Dazzling Gleam. Uh, he could. No, he has no item. It's only doing like 23. What's that? Okay, cool. Really? I guess, alright. Uh, 15 to 17. I took 10, so this thing like probably doesn't even have special attack investment. I feel like I just throw off a stone edge or even set up in this. I, I want to set up on this. Because if I do. Oh, wait, this is a reunifist I'm looking at. Never mind. Yeah, that, that didn't seem right. Dazzle Gleam is doing 56 max. Uh, and at plus 2, do I kill? I might. Oh, that's not a good roll, especially if he has defense investment. On the other hand, two stone edges, still. Not the best. But if I set up and then Z move, that definitely kills. If I just raw Z move, still not great odds. But I think that's my play. This is unfortunate. But yeah, I know I have to do this because at least I'll put you in range of Diancy at that rate. Okay, he goes Skarmory, so this is going to take a lot. I wish I had SD'd now. Alright, alright, alright. If he's left at 40%, uh, he can get another spike up. He can roost. Uh, 
Uh, you can whirlwind. I'll punish him for whatever he does by sword dancing. And he goes for the roost, cool. So I'll get a big hit off with this stone edge at the very least. Okay, that's a two hit KO. So yeah, if you whirlwind, you don't get a second spike. Now I'm gonna go for the trick. Because he's brought up muck every time and now he clicks roost, why? Oh. I guess he just thought about it for a few minutes and like, okay, why the hell is this thing burned? All right. Now what? She brought such a fat team. I was not ready for this. If I can't get these two mods going, I have very little offense on this squad. I guess I'll just start focus blasting, and he's gonna try to iron pen flinch, and it works. I don't think I have another option, and he starts bike stacking. Crap. Uh, are you in range of another one? You're not. You know what? Actually, further I can beat this. Uh, as he finally goes mock. <laughs> I guess they got that turn right. Kinda. Does this thing have a fire move? It does, right? I'll check. As it goes for the fire blast. This is a pretty free guard trap, actually. I don't know. I'm not gonna hesitate. <sighs> that did a lot. Alright. Earthquake lets in Skarm or Shaman, which upon Stealth Rock damage still aren't quite in range of things. That was that that did a lot though. So I'm gonna Stone Edge just to be sure that I can put something in range of something else, right? Does that kill? It does. With a crit. I don't know if that mattered. But it's actually huge for Dancy. I'll tell you that. Uh, this is fine. I kept my Ferrothorn unhealthy for this reason. The spikes are gonna suck. But, uh, you can sub, that's whatever. I have not knocked off your item. I will keep trying. Thunderbolt, uh, 14, so actually I'm losing health from that. It's doing a little more than leftovers. Uh, I've knocked this off already, it's fine. What I'll do now, I hope you don't have synthesis. Anyway, I'll protect so you just, so just get a little bit more health back. And now you're in Diancy range, so I will go hard Diancy. As he goes into this. Okay. Is this your stealth rocker? It must be. I'm gonna, I think I sack Garchomp here, and then go Suicune, and maybe I'll Air Slash. Oh, that doesn't look too bad, actually. I kinda like that play. And if he gets in Raikou, it's no big deal, really. Okay. That's fine. Suicune comes out. I get it off one attack. Do I make it a Scald or do I make it an Air Slash? Speaking's dead next turn anyway, so Dancy can revenge kill the Shaman. I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, actually I'll just Scald. As he does go Shaman, and I'll get off a bit of damage. You're in Dancy range. It doesn't matter at all. Let's, uh... In case he doesn't attack me, he goes for the Earth Power. Cool. And Dance comes in now. I can Moonblast, I'm pretty sure. Unless it's like a Salt Vest, I'll 2 it KO the Golurk. So Dance he can is looking like a can win the game here. Potentially. I might be in Raikou range, but that's alright because I can switch in the Ferrothon multiple times. Uh, and I think I'll have to 
between the Ferrothor and now. Or do I just like hope this thing doesn't have a ghost move? And Shadow Ball it. That might work out for me. What else is this thing gonna do? Yeah, no, I'm gonna do that. Okay, that's decent. Uh, he can go muck here, meaning. Yo, do I just go back into the ante? I kinda want to. But I need damage on this. Uh, I kinda of wish I leech seeded that one. Like, maybe I could have gone for like a double leech seed. That's how I would have wanted to be one of the rest of his team with Ferrothorn. I need damage on this. And then Diancy wins. I think that's my only way to win. Alternatively. Ferrothorn might be able to stall out the whole team. If I can like do something to the muck. But if the, the issue is that if I go for a Shadow Ball, I think Reuniflis dies if he just he can just trap me with muck at that point. But like that's pretty inevitable. So uh, he does just go for the Shadow Punch. So like I said, uh, it's not choice band at the least. We know that now. It's probably a self best. So, Ferrothorn's gonna come out, and I'm gonna go for the Leech Seed, try to stall the muck with Protect. Hopefully that works out for me. I don't know if this thing gets Fire Punch, and if it gets a Fighting Move, that's that. No, well, I mean, I know it does get a Fighting Move, but if that, or if said Fighting Move takes me out, this could be a Z user, actually. That's what might be going on right now. Yeah, okay, there it is. Uh, as the never-ending Nightmare comes out, and I don't die to that. But, um... <laughs> this doesn't seem like a reliable way to beat this. Is it like pop or something? That'd be funny. He goes into the Alolan Muck. Uh, oh, wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. You're at 76. Now that you're now that I, now that I know you're not in C. So now that I know you're not a self best rather. If you're just like close to max attack, and I go like Diancy, right? If I rock polish up on this, I might still win. That's not my set. That is. 58 to 69? Uh, is he in range after rocks? Ugh. If he's like 0 HP, he's not even in range really. Ah, oh, crap. Oh well. I think that's worth a shot though. So I'll go hard Diancy here. And I'll try to rock polish up. Fire last, as expected. I will rock polish. And he misses a gun shot. That's important. Let's Diamond Storm. I've been getting pretty lucky this season. Cool. Uh, a 70. Alright Diancy. Oh wait, I'm... Yeah, yeah, wait. I think I need a crit. You'll live on one or something, not... No. Alright. That's GG. We made it a 2-0, though. I mean, Diancy's luck made it a 2-0, so... Mascot pick is getting me some nice, nice luck this season. But we do take the L 2-0 to Ethan. And that's that. I hate this matchup, I gotta say. I thought last week was bad. And like it was, just in terms of matchup, but this guy has a Lele. Why is that allowed? Anyway. <laughs> I, I seriously don't know. But at least we don't have to face it again this season unless we face Ethan in the playoffs. In which case, um, I don't right now have a backup plan, but I'll come up with one, whatever. Maybe we'll make some transactions. Alright, and that's going to be it for my week 5 battle. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to share this video, leave a like, and maybe even subscribe it. But until next time, later guys.